In my last video, we scribed a line into my table saw top in line with the leftmost side of the blade as a reference for various operations here at the saw. Today, we're going to draw some more lines, but not on the table saw itself. And I promise you, this might be the biggest improvement to your workflow yet. Okay, so we've all been there. We wanna make a non-through cut here at the table saw and we want it to be a certain depth. Let's say a half inch. Finding the very center top of the blade can be a little bit of a guessing game. Usually we kind of rotate a tooth back and forth a little bit until it looks right and then we adjust to taste. Try this instead. Mark the center of the blade itself from tooth to opposite tooth and from the very front of one tooth to the other. If you're using a flat bottom grind like the number one grind from Forrest, you can pretty much just draw from the front of one tooth to the front of the opposite tooth and everything will work out perfect. But that's because this leaves an absolutely perfect flat bottom cut. If you use a saw blade that has alternating beveled teeth, you have to keep in mind that the bottom of those bevels is where you should be drawing your line from and pulling your measurements from because that point is going to be your shallowest depth of cut. If you have a blade with flat raker teeth, mark from there as that raker tooth will make the shallowest depth of cut in a blade like this. Now, my advice is to run a piece of material into the blade and then study the kerf that it leaves so that you can see exactly what's going on when that blade is cutting. And this will give you a more precise location as to where to draw that line. Now, if you don't do it this way, it will probably throw that depth off by just a little bit and you'll inevitably have to make a second deeper cut, which kind of makes this all for nothing. Once you've marked your blade, not only will you know the exact top of the blade rotation, you will also have a plumb mark to perfectly line up with whatever it is that you use to measure blade height. Hopefully this helps you guys out. This is something that I've done in the past and totally forgot about until I was running a groove in this piece of plywood for some aluminum bar stock. I also needed these to basically be a machine fit, but we'll go over that in the next video. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next video.